Woo, Mass Effect. Colors are weird again. I can try to fix that. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, guys, I got Aaron here for some calibrations. He can be trusted, don't worry. He came up specifically to help, but we'll check the difficulty. You never know, might be trying to sabotage me. But I know I've been putting off some of the DLC missions and I kinda just wait until you guys let me know when those are gonna be. Uh, we started, I think, like the very beginning of Leviathan at one point. So yeah, we're probably gonna uh, get into Leviathan. Um, we had the Asari counselor want to meet us at Udina's office on the Citadel. The apartment DLC at the end of the game, we can do that. There's also the, yeah, there's the Asari counselor. I think that's more main mission stuff, but maybe tonight we'll work on uh, Leviathan DLC. We got a bunch of new ones. I did collect a decent amount of stuff too. We're doing pretty good in terms of the war assets here. We almost got this thing filled up. I'm pretty happy with that. The newest one, yeah, I found the uh, SSV Hong Kong uh, when I was scanning, so that's been cool. The mercenaries were astonished to learn they had only been battling five Asari commandos. Holy shit. Although the guard downplayed their heroics, they became instant celebrities upon their return to Thessia. Holy shit, that's awesome. That's like the Spartan level right there. Uh, what else we got here? We got Geth, of course. We got the Geth. And then for the Quarians, we also got the Quarians. We have the Quarian civilian fleet. Good, yes. All right. That's a lot of war assets, everybody. Uh, turn it off. Turn it off? Yeah, do it There it is. Boom. People are saying, holy shit, it worked. <laughs> yeah, you can take it. <laughs> ah. Calibrate. Calibrate. Okay. I think we'll live with those settings for now until we figure things out. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, we will do one real quick check just to make sure we haven't fucked with anything too much by going to options and gameplay and, yep, we're still on normal. Good, 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 good. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal Ooh, question. Interesting. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only son of a bitch I've got who knows how to kill Reapers. Oh, or the Thresher Hack it Hack out. Hack it out. And the Legion obviously is not here anymore. <sighs> Alright, let's go uh, talk to the crew. Except these two. I never want to speak to them. Kalisla, Admiral. Shalaran Vosronik. I love that they, their mothership has become just their home planet. It's so great. This is from Tally. Shepard, I've wanted to let you know that I'm going to join Adams in Engineering. That seems appropriate. It seems like the best place for me to help as long as I'm coming with you anyway. Please drop by when you have a minute, Tally. Can I get into your cabin for an hour and get thoughts on vid, Diana? Yeah, okay, that sounds good too. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. <laughs> Legion referred to itself as I. It did, of yeah. He it, did. It was a person. That's what I figured. He had a soul. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Him. That's a nice moment. The conversation that was had with that Reaper, with, uh, was it Sovereign? Or no, it wasn't Sovereign, it was Harbinger. Like, he kind of made it sound like they were a system put in place. But put in place by whom is the question. You know, it's, is it weird to you guys that Harbinger is the name of, like, the, the main Reaper that we're dealing with, who's, like, the Reaper leader, and then Sovereign is the name of the Reaper Harbinger, who came before the other Reapers. You figure Sovereign would be the name of the leader, and Harbinger would be the name of the guy that, that comes and <laughs> talks about it. I don't know. Does that, is that weird? We always got to pay respects. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one, too. <laughs> You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. You want to warn me that the Geth are our friends and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots? I almost piss myself when these primes start dropping out of the sky and mopping up the Reapers. We fired a few rounds at them until we realized they weren't firing back. Then, this one comes over and they said that they're a lot 
allied assistance and asked for our status. I'm not complaining they saved my crew, but I'm never living down having to apologize to a geth. For shooting one of its damn lights off. <laughs> That's funny. I like that one. I never checked the bathroom. Should I be? Maybe I should. I don't know. Got the flush. Mm. Oh, okay. Is the couch exposed? Ah, oh, I see. There. Fixed. Bruh. This stream requires much calibration. You guys probably noticed, but these seats can recline. It's so nice playing Mass Effect reclined like this. Man, no one told me about that before. Too much calibration in this stream. I agree. Totally took down a Reaper. Yeah, sure did. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that interaction? Just a few more, and we're done. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. We're with well, Daniels. I... We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. Yes. Well, that's a start. Yes, Fitz and Simmons, yes! Nothing to report, Commander. Where's Tally? Oh, she's over here. Okay. <laughs> for thought for sure, she'd be right here. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. Whoa! Really? That's so cool! They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. They're a it's vaccine. Like a vaccine. <laughs> oh man, that is fucking sweet. Today, on Ranok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong. Thanks oh, to the so fucking cool. Just let me know if you let a Geth upload itself in there. <laughs> no, the only person who gets inside my suit is you. Swing. Nothing stands between us now. I left something for you up in your cabin. Go have a look. We'll hear it from him right here in the bath space. It'd be funny to see, like, Shepard just in the background, just walking while she's filming her reports. Look at all the fishies! Praise be to the space hamster. Listen. Meep. Okay, we got that. Huh. Huh. What's this? Tally's picture! Oh. Huh. I saw a face. Wow! Beautiful! Look, this is so special for Shepard. That shit touched my heart. It touched my heart. You know, whenever Tally took her face mask off on her home planet, like, at first I was like, oh my god, we're gonna see her face, but I actually really enjoyed that she got to have that that moment with her home, like, privately. I didn't need to see it, but this is better. Before Legendary Edition, it was a stock image of a model with a purple filter, really? Huh, <laughs> that sucks. That's one, I'm so glad that wasn't the case. This is awesome. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? We did upgrade them. The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. This now, robot, here's a question these from are cool. close-ups. Commander Shepard? I think it's time to get uh, out into a mission, which uh, Leviathan seems to be the one. I did Leviathan a bit before, right, where I like was looking at clues at the laboratory. So let's go ahead and check out the galaxy map. All right, uh, we need to head to this other system. Metallic asteroid and the very sparse Nahata belt. Most people are saying Edie, so we'll take Edie. I mean, I'm just uh, excited for Tally anyway. Do we have any more information about what Leviathan could be? Not really. 
We only know it killed a Reaver. Yep. But it is Garno, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Bryson good. said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan 2, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Ooh, it's like Polis Massa. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. So Just cool looking. Hey guys, I was doing a thing. That makes sense. They seem awfully calm. Agreed. Is it indoctrination? You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. Well, this is incredibly creepy. That will be. We have no Dr. Garno. Do you need to see a doctor? How about is I Leviathan like a hive no. mind or something? The excess elevator is broken. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Well, he went down this way seven days ago. After comparing the stomach contents of Varen from eight different regions, we must evaluate our current understanding of their feeding practices. I see a trend among the miners. They appear to be doing everything but mining. Evolutionary implications of human biotics. That's odd. Use extreme caution when working with all third generation plants. A level five passcode is required for access. I don't have one. Access denied. Bryson, it's Garno. I've had to go into hiding, and I need you to come get me. I found another one of those artifacts here. More important than we realized. It's in the mines. Here's the nav point. That's where I'll be. If something happens, by attaching a passcode that I hacked together, it'll open any security terminal. Cool. A ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. Unknown male was involved in an altercation at the mines. Garneau was headed to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. I have the file number. Let's go get Garneau. Personnel ID. TGS Metal Works is focused on. File 7364. Access granted. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you alright? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. For a good reason? What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. The incident. They attacked you. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. Hmm. In your message, you said you'd found an artifact. I did? No. Yes, Doctor. You did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you up. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? The darkness. Why do you pursue me? Doctor? Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. I don't believe we are speaking to Garneau. You. You killed a reading. I need your help. You bring only death. What is this? What is Leviathan? That artifact before he does. According to my map, there's a service door at the next tram station. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. Husk! I am noticing what are that. Husk doing here? Watch our flank! Damn! Ah! 
Where am I getting shot from? Ah, shit. Trying to get good headshots. What's this? Reaper Black Star? Could have used this. Looks like the door's power supply has been cut. I'm seeing the trouble spots out there. We could send this repair drone. We'll need to escort it. Alright, gotta escort this drone. Escort mission! One repair done. Let me go. Gotta hold on a little longer. Ugh! Ugh! No ammo! Not good. Ah! Drone shields not doing well. The darkness can't be breached. The artifact. Like in Bryson's office. Move! I've got a shot! Turn back! Darno! Damn it. Well, why? What's going on? Shepard, over here. What have you got? Was not Garneau. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. And a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Anne Bryson. Okay. Anne Bryson. Anne Bryson. What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? Are they out I of think it? So. I remember a, a feeling. Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. The darkness. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper. What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. What? These people are in for a lot yes, of surprises. Yes, they are. They're gonna be like, Nihilus is my favorite Spectre. Did we get anything from Gardo's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. But why add sensations of darkness or cold? Yeah. One day, I will salute that guy. Where are they? Oh, hello, Commander. We were just, uh, double-checking the thermal ducts. I'm sure you were. Carry on. Mm-hmm. Do you think Shepard noticed? I'm sorry, Min. I'm so embarrassed. That was great. Do you all, all reporters look so, um, feminine? I mean, you made up so well. Gotcha. Trainer's interested, maybe. I don't know. The mining colony was completely brainwashed. And the Reapers retreat the moment the artifact is destroyed. I don't know what's going on, but I know I don't like it. Ten years of your life, just gone. You're working out there, sending letters to your family back home, and you wake up, and your hair's gone. Your kid's in college, and your six-pack has turned into a K. It's just messed up. And gears will turn into an entire barrel. Dr. Bryson's lab. In Bryson's lab! We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Okay. Search the lab for clues. <laughs> yep. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships. A mythical creature and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the galaxy of fantasy video game. 
It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. <laughs> oh. Records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scara paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster Pilots. contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Any clues here? Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. <laughs> interesting and non-existent. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Didn't need an environmental suit. Wind protection gear. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. I think we can whittle down to one more thing so we have a precise location, right? Ah, get out of there, Eddie. We're taking a shower together. Don't tell Joker. You will not understand. Well, ah. There are specifications for several ships here. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. That should narrow it down again, right? Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Anne Bryson. Alrighty. Wait. Okay, now we can go. I found something. Oh no. What'd you find? Okay. Reapers eluded. Eluded. Uh, radiation shielding sheath. Okay. Okay. We have located Anne Bryson's dig site. Let's take, I kind of want to take James. I haven't taken James somewhere for a long time. Are those big, big flying things? We or? have hostile. That's her. Okay. Oh! Big, big flying things! Get out of there, Cortez! Shit! now, Commander! Oh my god! There's so many! Watch out! Shit! There goes the easy way! Look for another path! Look out! Eating! The elevator's blocked. Is there another way up? I'll override the pod door near you. There's an access point above, Commander, but you'll have to climb to it. Commander, they attacked my assistant, Hopkins. We're being cornered. Stay hidden, Doctor. We're trying, but there's too many of them. Hurry! Oh, my God! That thing's shooting at me. I was like, what's getting me? He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? Hmm, sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that a lie? I noticed the painting earlier. Y yes. Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper. But acting alone, mm. not like any reaper we've seen before. Doctor, Rogue I reaper? understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. What are they doing? They've activated. I've never managed anything. 
Doctor. They've learned too well. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Done it! You okay? Cortez, we have Ed Bryson. Need a pickup. Hey! Look out, buddy! Alright, we got the dock. The possibility that this is a rogue Reaper. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it certainly seems And they seem way. kind of afraid of it at one point? We were hoping you could help us figure out why. First... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue. Or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father... is dead. I'm sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. <sighs> You're the only one who can help us. And? I, I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. What is it with you and rescuing scientists from dig sites <laughs> that have been overrun by hostile forces? Right. If you decide to help her take down the Shadow Broker, I'm going to be jealous and somewhat concerned. That's funny. Hello, Shepard. I like that one. I can handle the Reapers that run around the ones that crawl, or the ones that shuffle menacingly toward you, but it's the fine ones that give me the creeps. Agreed. So a reaper goes rogue, then kills one of its own. And that's what we're looking at here, right? Bryson really was onto something big. Amazing. Yeah, this could be huge. A lot of people in this galaxy. I'm a lucky guy to work with so many of them. I feel like a lot of Caden's dialogue has internalized a certain group of the fandoms dislike of him. How are you two doing? My board is green. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Commander. Prothe. Mr. Vega, taking on a sky full of worm necks and a troop transport is like sending you against the Earth invasion armed with brass knuckles. What? You don't think I can do it? <laughs> 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. Yeah. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Me too. Hey. We had so little time on Earth. And? Are you here? Oh. My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. He was screaming ahead. a chance to know him. A little oh, crazy. Sometimes I felt the same way. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold. And dark. Mm -hmm. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Cold and dark. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever okay. the Vatican does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. Hey, Loco. Need a hand? Oh, what's up, James? What brings you down here, James? Saw what happened to Anne back at the dig site. That ain't right. Well, make yourself comfortable. You are right there by that head. Commander, you see this thing? This is great. 
<laughs> the way it follows him is so funny. Did I get you? Hey, Edie, the husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or, I don't know, whatever. You want the head? Deliver this to your cabin? <sighs> okay. All right. Just don't tell anybody. Nice. You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? <laughs> the screaming head. Okay. The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. Mmm, that is pretty risky. Let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. A chill? Chill. No trace yet. What the hell? Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. No, I do don't it. want to renegade. Man. Yeah, I don't want to hurt her. That probably would have pushed her too far. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Yeah, we'll Good. search. We're fine. It's a start. Yeah, I do renegade when it's when I should, when I feel it. But I don't know what that action was gonna be. It sounded to me like it was going to push her too far. Which I already was kinda iffy on her being bait anyway. Yep, here it is. <laughs> I should put that in the bathroom or something. <laughs> Scan for Leviathan. These are three new systems, it seems like. Okay. No sign of Leviathan at these coordinates. Oh, rations. Okay. Husk neural map. That's cool. Signal confirmed. Okay. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Tally for this one. Tally, 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 tally. Okay. If it's a Reaper, even one that went rogue, do we really want help from something like that? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not going to like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. Mm. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Okay. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Damn. Look at this place. That's possible. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. I guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Ready for impact! What is it? Uh. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. 
Cool. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Look, up there. Reaper, they were right behind oh, us. Oh, fuck. Protect the shuttle. Ah. Portent, situation. What? Cortez! Almost there, Commander! Fuck! Fuck! and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Another power cell for you, Commander. Here they come. And get another cell, Shepard. We'll hold them off. Hundred. Getting in. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. Okay. It's as ready as I can make it. I'm ready. Let's go. Underwater. Shepherd, just. I'll be fine. Okay. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Well, it is cold and dark here. Just played Soma. Not too long ago. Okay. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. <sighs> That's the probe. Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. This is definitely one of the most unique locations we've ever been to in Mass Effect. What is that? I need to know why. 
something like the enemy, one that seeks our extermination. But I thought you were a reaper. at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Those wings? For the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. Any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it Harbinger. Harbinger's the first reaper. Uh, I figured it had to have been something like this, but to actually experience one, to be here with it. And that's what Leviathan is. We were above the yeah, they thought they were all high and mighty. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. It seems like they're still doing their original programming. It's just fucked up version of it. Each harvest ends with the birth of a reaper, perfect in its design, each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. One cycle equals one reaper. How many reapers have we seen? Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Hmm. Finds what it's looking for. It's like it's, uh, it's pruning, right? Like a bonsai tree. And it's directing evolution at its, at its tool to get to... What? Life that can preserve itself? Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Palantirs. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. More? is singular. 
I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. It's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got I'd it. I'd say so. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. We're gonna look at that codex. <laughs> Aquatic species dubbed Leviathans before Commander Shepard's report to Task Force Aurora. No record of their species' true name exists. No ruins are attributed to their civilization, and no influence on any other races has been recorded. The faster-than-light communication of their pulses will require precise control previously unknown to modern science. One can only guess at the innovations of the species, and Leviathans are volunteering no such information. Okay, well that's one big giant uh, lore hole that we had, right? Like, if the Reapers are a constructed um, race of machines who created them. And now we have the Leviathans, the apex species. It would seem to me that it was obvious they designed the Reaper, you know, Mass Effect artists designed the Reapers first. So then, you know, their creators are designed to look like them. But obviously, in the lore, they were designed to look like their creators. It's very similar to the battle droids in Star Wars, the B1 units. They were designed in Episode 1, and then for Episode 2, the people that are building them, the Geonosians, they kind of designed them to look like the battle droids, but thus the Geonosians made the battle droids to look like them. It's really interesting. It's really cool. Um, I do kind of want to, like, throw it in Sovereign's face a little bit whenever we had that first conversation in Mass Effect 1, and, you know, it's like, what do you want? And his response of, like, you cannot comprehend the vastness of our purpose. And it's like, no. Well, I remember thinking, like, I'm sure I can. <laughs> now that I've kind of heard it, I'm getting there. I don't know if it's going to be uncomprehensible. <laughs> uh, Leviathan Enthrallment Team. A mixed species team of special operation soldiers have volunteered to covertly deliver Leviathan artifacts behind enemy lines. These attacks aim to make Reaper 
creatures, thralls of the Leviathans. And yeah, if you don't see, I am uh, completely, it looks like to me, completely maxed there with uh, total military strength. So that's pretty cool. We got new Dr. Ann Bryson. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Alters about the Geth uh, emphasized their value as strong military allies. The Council reluctantly sent the Geth shipments of rare materials to upgrade ground units. Cool. So the Crucible. Um, so my guess is it's just kind of... Maybe it's something the Reapers developed themselves to have the uh, the races of the this galaxy, like... Get into kind of busy work. It slows them down so that it makes harvesting easier. I mean, that's a guess. Um, you know, I, the the main thing that's weird here is that Leviathan doesn't seem to have any information about it. Like, I didn't know if it was something they had made. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my my guess about what the Crucible could be. You know, this is very similar to the Matrix sequels, right? With the machines uh, and Zion and all that stuff in terms of uh, cycles and uh, preserving quote-unquote life. So there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, but I'm sure as we, as we learn more, we'll be able to understand and then we can uh, further spit in Sovereign's face about his hoity-toity godly things that cannot be understood. Uh, anyway, we're just going to get more information. But yeah, guys, that is the, uh, that's the stream. We went a little long here, 932, but it's Mass Effect, and we did have to, uh, once again, thank Aaron for helping out this, uh, today, but it did take a, take a little bit to get going here today, too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Hope you come back, uh, tomorrow for podcasts. Um, and let me know if you guys are playing Crudel. If you don't know what Crudel is, go to blindwave.com slash Crudel. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you played Wordle, it's kind of like that, but Blind Wave Edition, where you have to guess where a certain amount, uh, a certain clip is from. What series of reactions is it from? Um, and it's been a lot of fun. There's one a day. I know people are really enjoying it, and you can share your scores. Rick put it together in like a week. Uh, and it works very well. There's a couple little tiny bugs, but uh, nothing too serious. So check out Crudel and uh, go share your your score uh, on the Discord where everybody else is. There's a whole channel for it. So do that. We'll talk more about Crudel and its development tomorrow podcast. You don't want to miss that. And uh, all things Mass Effect next week. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. Hugs and kisses. Goodbye.